Hello chess aficionados. You know that the pressure is getting to you when you start talking to an imaginary friend with about 18 minutes to go in the game and you have a winning position in, with black but you really can't see it. The objectivity is not as clear as uh, with uh, somebody that would not be under pressure. If he wins this game, this game 12, he would have won the World Chess Championship to be the World Chess Champion after Magnus Carlsen, some big shoes to fill. But let's watch. This is an agony of how we have an imaginary friend. Is he talking in Russian or English? Does anybody know any readers, like lip readers out there? You have a tendency when you're under pressure to go back to your basic original language, your birth language. I know if I get a little upset, everything goes out the window and I go into my a native language, which is not English, although I have been in the United States for a very, very long time. Look at this. He's so disappointed. Right? Wouldn't you be disappointed? If you know it's there, it's, it's, you're almost going to clinch the win. That's right, he's grabbing his hair. And it's, it's very difficult. Yeah, he's still talking. I don't understand. Yes. I agree with you, Nepal. This could be the one deal right there. All you have to do is see it. So, you know, the anguish is there. Don't tell me that chess is not a sport. This is mental anguish. And notice uh, Ding is trying to avoid all, all these movements. He's trying to focus. He's still looking at him. Notice he kind of glances at him. And this is it. This is extremely, extremely difficult. So it, it becomes a very much a, a, a fight between do we want humans to be robots or are we going to let them be human? What do you think? This is how we show humanity. And uh, we are human. Ding was freezing for about six minutes in one game. And here we have Jan Nepomanachu just have imaginary friends. That's, that's chess for you. So if you're going to embark on this, you may want to know this ahead of time. That chess can make you a little bit on the other side. And uh, with Paul Morphy, he would be walking the streets talking to himself. That's what they said in some places if you research. So it can make you go a little uh, out there with uh, so much robotics and so much to remember. But yet you have to have your creativity. And this we see the anguish here with Yana Pomnachi in game 12. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.